Do you weigh less on the equator of the Earth, than at the North Pole? You may have heard, that your weight can change a little, depending the place on Earth you are at. Is this really true, for example, do you weigh less on the equator of the Earth, than at the North Pole? The short answer to this question is yes. You weigh less on the equator of the Earth, than you weigh at the North Pole. Basically, the farther you are from the poles of Earth, the less you weigh. If you could weigh yourself simultaneously at both places, with exactly the same equipment, same clothes etc., without changing a thing, you would actually see a small difference in your weight. How big this difference is, and what is the reason for this? Let's find out. Actually, there are a few different reasons, and things we have to take into account, to calculate this weight fluctuation between places, but if we don't need scientifically accurate answer, there are only two major reasons we need to consider here. The first reason for this weight change between poles and equator, is the fact that Earth is not completely round. Earth actually bulges a little at the equator. This means, that you are closer to the center of Earth at the North Pole, than you are at the equator. And the closer you are the center of the Earth, the more Earth's gravity have effect on you. As a result, people standing at sea level, at the equator experience less gravity, than people at sea level at the poles. And when you experience less gravity, you weigh less. Because of this gravity change alone, a person who weighs 100 kilograms at the North Pole, will weigh about 200 grams less at the equator, or person weighing 100 pounds, will weigh 99 pounds and 13 ounces. Being at the equator instead of a North Pole, your weight decreases about 0.19%. Second reason for this weight change is a force called the Earth's centrifugal force. This force is caused by the fact that Earth is spinning. As the Earth spins, the equator is moving. Since equator is far away from the rotational axis, it has a lot of centrifugal force. In contrast, the poles are not moving, so they have zero centrifugal force. Since centrifugal force points outwards from the center of rotation, in other words upwards at the equator, it cancels out a little bit of Earth's gravity, which is a force that pulls you down. Basically centrifugal force is pulling your body slightly away from the surface of the Earth, and because of that, it's reducing your weight a little. Because of this centrifugal force alone, a person who weighs 100 kilograms at the North Pole, will weigh about 340 grams less at the equator. So this force reduces your weight about 0.34% when you stand at the equator. When we combine these two factors, we can discover, that you actually weigh about 0.53% less at the equator, compared to your weight at the North or South Pole. So if you weigh 100 kilograms at the North Pole, you will weigh about 99 kilograms and 470 grams on the equator, or if you weigh 100 pounds, at the North Pole, you will weigh about 99 pounds and 7.5 ounces on the equator. If you need more scientifically accurate answer, you need to consider, not only the mentioned Earth's gravity and Earth's centrifugal force, but also the gravity effect of the Sun and the Moon, at that precise time, and the fact that Earth does not have a uniform density, which means that gravitational field at different locations on Earth's surface is different. Effect of these additional things is quite marginal though. So now you know, that it's actually true, that you weigh less at the equator. Was this fact surprising?